hi guys welcome back to another interesting tutorial this is Ajolam here thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos i really appreciate you all and if you're new here you're welcome consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post new videos so in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to make a simple cold shoulder summer dress for a nine year old baby girl so if you're interested keep on watching have all the things i'll be using for this project here i have my bias strip i will not be adding any lining to this dress so i'll be using my bias and here i have two and a half yards and this is my elastic this is not up to quarter inch all right so we're going to start by drafting out the pattern so i'm going to take this off now here i have my pattern paper and it's already on fold okay so we're going to start by drafting out the basic bodies for a nine year old all right so the bodice length is 13.5 or rather the bodice length is 14.5 so i'm going to mark out 15.5 to a straight line you know one inch is the sewing allowance i'm going to mark out 15.5 here now for the bodice length for nine year old is between 11.5 to 14 Point five. although it depends on the structure or the height of the baby okay so i will just go ahead and connect that to a straight line all right i have the bodice length marked out the next thing is to mark out the armhole line of the chest line so to get your armhole line just divide the shoulder measurement into two and i am working with a 14 inches shoulder measurement so half of that is seven so i'll be adding quarter inch to it to create an ease to that armhole part so this is seven and quarter i'll just go ahead and connect that to a straight line all right so now the next thing is to mark out the shoulder measurement like i said earlier it's 14 inches so i'm going to mark half of that which is seven so i have seven and i'll also bring it down here and then i'm going to connect after coming down by three quarter inch on this part all right here i just came down by three quarter inch reason being that the girl is a bit chubby and um if you don't come down by three quarter it will not sit very well on the shoulder so i'm going to connect now and then mark out the neck width and the neck depth all right so for the neck um the neck width i'll be making use of 3.5 as well as the neck depth okay so this is 3.5 and here is also 3.5 i'm going to connect so this is the neck line after connecting and then i will also connect this other part as well okay now the next thing to do is to determine the midpoint here okay, what i have left here now is 6.5 which is three and quarter this is the midpoint so i'll go in by half sorry by three quarter inch as well which is here okay and then the next thing to do is to mark out the chest measurement now the chest measurement is to um, 33 inches if you divide that by four is going to give me so 33 divided by four is eight and quarter this is the point there and then i'm going to add just half an inch for my sewing for my side sewing allowance all right i'm going to connect it now and we are almost done with this front pattern all right this is it after connecting it and you make sure to note whatever you have here because you're going to be using it to draft out the sleeve so the next thing to do is to mark out the waist the waist measurement is 30 30 divided by 4 is 7.5 so i'm going to mark that out and then add my half an inch for my sewing allowance and then i'm going to connect and we're through with the front pattern okay it's as easy and simple as that so i'll just go ahead now and draft out the the back pattern i have a detailed video on how to draft the basic bodies you can also check that out for this back pattern i'm going to rush it because it's almost the same thing i did it as i'm going to repeat on these parts 
see i have my back basic bodies i just drafted it out i repeated almost the same thing i did on the front that is what you're seeing here this is the ample or the chest line and we have the this is the zipper line i am using one inch for, the, for my zipper allowance okay so i used 3.5 as my neck width and now for the neck depth this is the back i used three quarter okay so for the back you can decide how deep or high you want the back neckline to be for me i'll be using three quarter inch for the back neckline now for this part i am going to check what i have to get the midpoint i'll go in by half an inch remember the front i use three quarter but for this back you can you can um, use half an inch you can even connect straight to this line but for me there's a um there's a way i want the back to look so for me to get that look i'll go in by half an inch for the back okay so i'll just mark out half an inch there and then i'm going to connect so after connecting now i'll quickly cut them all out and then take another paper where i'll just um do a rough slip pattern before we we'll now determine the full shoulder part all right so this is it now for this waistline i will just go up by by three quarter inch as well all right so this is three quarter inch so i'm going to connect it straight to this point and the back pattern is ready so i'll just go ahead now cut it all out so we can draft and cut out the sleeve pattern As you can see i have a plain paper here and i just marked out the length of my sleeve i am working with 13 inches as the length of my sleeve and here i just marked out one inch for any allowance in case i will be needing i'll need to add allowance at the end of the day you just need to leave a little space for you to do that so the next thing to do is to mark out the arm side or the arm hole um, measurement so this is 6.5 remember the point that i said you should note that you'll be using it to draft out your sleeve pattern so this is 6.5 here i'm going to mark that out and connect to a straight line all right this is it i just extended that line and here i use the bicep measurement which is 12 inches so you need to extend your line till you have your 12 or your bicep measurement so i'm going to connect that to a straight line as well all right here as you can see i have that line connected to a straight line this is for our seam allowance okay so now i'm going to divide that into two this is 12 half of that is six i'm going to notch the point and then connect it straight as well okay this is six here and then i'll mark that here and connect so this is what i have after connecting that center line and before i forget um we, are, we have started our online classes, the beginner, the intermediate, and advanced classes. So if you're interested in any of our online classes, you know, kindly check the description box for a number to reach out for more details. All right. So here now on this point here, I will just mark out half an inch on both sides. And then I'm going to connect to this point. So I'm going to place my ruler this way and connect. But before connecting, there's a little trick you need to do here to get it very easy. Now that you see that we have 6 inches here from this point to this point, I'm going to divide that into 3 and connect the lines straight. And then you're going to repeat the same on the other side. I'll just connect straight now. And I'll repeat the same on this other side. All right, this is it. As you can see, I just connected that straight. It's going to guide us on how to mark out the curves. So now from this point, I'll just connect it straight. And I'll repeat the same 
for the other side and then after connecting you need to not notch um, the point of intersection which is just here and here and then you're going to repeat the same on this other one as well okay right so this is the point for this other side okay so now for this first one I will just come down by half an inch which is here and this second point I'll go up by half an inch which is at this point and now for this other side I'll just go up by three quarter inch which is here okay this place you're going to leave it as it is so it's time for us to just connect so I'm taking this now to connect okay so you just connect it that way and then you turn it over to connect it back to this upper side as you can see the way I am doing it all right so you're going to repeat the same on this other side now as you're con connecting make sure that your pen or your marker is touching those points as you connect okay so this is it and then you turn it again and then connect it back to that point now you can see that it's very easy okay so here you have your basic bodies uh, sorry basic sleeve pattern ready all right so this is how it looks now on this side we're going to be um, marking out the round the sleeve measurements so the round the sleeve measurement is 9.5 so i'm going to place it in between this is 4.5 here okay so this is sorry 4.5 is 9 so this should be four and quarter to give us 9.5 so this is it i will now connect it to this point so from this pattern now we are going to determine the of sorry the cold shoulder part so this is it now you can see that it's very easy at this point i'm going to just add my half inch for sewing allowance and for this part i'll just add quarter inch all the way around for my sewing allowance all right here it is i just cut that out and i'm going to grab another paper now so we can alter this to make the cold shoulder sleeve All right so i'm going to take this paper here let me just open it up a paper like i said earlier and now we are going to be slashing this pattern okay so we can just cut out two of this and keep one that you can use later so now you can see these two points that i have there i'm going to connect that to a straight line that is where i'm going to end my slashing i don't want it to reach this part because this other side we're not going to be making it puffy it's going to be straight so this is where i'll be ending all my slashes so i'm going to i'm going to mark all these lines down that is going to give me a guide as to where to slash it from okay so i'll just bring it down And then I'll take my scissors now and slash it through. Okay, so it's as easy as that. So I'm going to slash and end on that point. this is what I have so I'll go ahead now and place it on my paper and then I'm going to be making it a one inch distance from each other so I'll just open it up this way as you can see and then I'll make sure that I have one inch that is what I'll be using if you want to if you want the ruffles to be more you can just make it 1.5 that is the distance but for me I'll go with one inch because I don't want it too much so I'll just take my 
paper tape now and then I will secure as I am spreading it okay making sure that it's one inch As you can see, I just separated that. I just did it roughly. This is just one inch distance from each other. So what I normally do now, instead of you know tracing it as it's curvy, I'll just leave this line straight at it, as it is, and then I'll just trace out the armhole parts, and then we'll now cut out the cold shoulder parts. So this is just simple this is just to guide you on how to go about it so just cut and then I'm going to remove this this is what I have this is what I'll be using now to cut out the cold shoulder part of this so I'll just fold into two as you can see and here you can now decide where to use to cut out the cold shoulder part all right this is it this is the other side and if I open it up you can see that the front and the back but this is the side that is the front as you can see it's um, a bit curvy is deep while this side is not if you close it up you will see the difference we're going to see the difference on these parts so now for you to know where to use and cut out the cold shoulder it's up to you you can decide how wide or small you want the cold shoulder to be so for me i will just take my tape and measure roughly what i have following this back okay so let's say i'll be making it um or better see just measure what you have from that point to this point and then use the midpoint Okay, so let's say what I have here is, is 9. So the midpoint is 4.5. So I'm going to use 4.5. Okay. Like I said, you can make it 5 or even less. It depends on what you're trying to achieve. All right. So that is 4.5 there. And now for this part, I'll be making it very deep. If you want, you can make it um, small. All right. So I'll go by 6 inches or you can also use half of your sleeve length like i just did here but i'll be making it six is okay for me and then i'll just connect and you have your cold shoulder part so i'll just cut this off and i'm going to use this pattern now to cut out the sleeve so this is what we have this is what is going to be i think i'm going to give it a slight curve you know just to make it look more nicer okay so let's go this way mm -hmm. okay i'm okay with this all right so here you can give it the shape that you prefer and now this part at the end of the day we are going to be adding elastic on these parts all right so let me just go ahead and cut everything on my fabric so we can start sewing have everything all cut out so we're going to start with the sleeve so i'll take my bias now we are going to be using the bias to sew to close this rough edge here okay so i'll take my bias i'm going to open it up all right here is my bias as you can see we are just using it as the lining or the interfacing so i'm going to turn it now okay this is the front and this is the wrong side of my fabric so i'll take 
the bias and place it on the right or the front side of my fabric as you can see and then I am going to sew it that way till I get to the other end and after stitching it now I am going to turn it inside this way and then stitch it very well and I'm going to repeat the same on this second sleeve so guys this is it as you can see I just used my bias on this side and also on this lower part so now for this I am going to use my safety pin to attach the um, elastic Okay, so I'll be using this other um, elastic. This is not up to half an inch. The first one, if I add the first one that I had, it's going to be very free. And I don't want it that way. So I'll be using this one. Okay, so I'll just pass my safety pin as I am doing so. And then you just pass it through and pull it until you have your desired round the sleeve measurement. Alright, after pulling it to the um, round the sleeve measurement that I'm working with, this is how it looks. Okay, you can as well take your elastic and pass it through on the part that you want your sleeve to end. You know, to know how many inch that you'll be needing, how many inches rather that you'll be needing for your elastic. So this is what I have and if I fold into two, you can see the difference. One part is shorter. Okay, now you can see that this part is shorter while this is longer so this part that is shorter should be in the front while this one that is longer should be at the back so I'm going to repeat the same on the second one after that I am going to take the upper part now and join the shoulders together and also sew the neckline using my bias strip as the lining have the neckline sewn using my bias strip and this is how it looks so at this point we are going to be joining the sleeve before we close and um, use the bias strip as well and close this ample part so I'm going to take the sleeve remember the part that I said that the shorter should be in the front all right so this is for this part and this this is the shorter side is for this other end so I'll just place it as you can see and just sew it and end it here and i'll repeat the same on this other side i'll also turn this other one now to the back side and do the same so this is how it looks after joining the the front and the back together this is it so right now i am going to open it up this way and take my bias now like i said i'll be using it to turn it inside and i'll be using it as my lining so i'm going to sew okay exactly on this line so that by the time you turn it over this line will not be visible so i'll just sew it that way okay i'll just follow it as it is and sew it till i get to this other end and then i'm going to turn it inside and then sew it very well i'll also repeat the same on this second side and then i'll close the sides together so we can join with the lower part all right this is it after closing it up with my bias this is it okay and i did the same for this second one all right so now i'm going to close the sides together using my side sewing allowance now you're going to close it together with the sleeve okay so you just run it a stress stitch and close it together and also close this other side as well now for the lower part i am working with 2.5 yards of um, fabric and this is it i just fold this two two and a half yards for easy cutting and i just cut out the length that i want to use for the lower part after cutting it out you just use your gather stitch and run it through okay and then pull it till you have your waist measurement so after closing the sides now i will just take this and join it together all right after joining it with the lower parts this is how it looks okay and you can see that this you can actually make this in 30 minutes it's very easy and simple to make all right so for the back i just close the back from this waist down i mark out four inches and just sew it down all that is left now is to add my zipper and then i'll roll hem this part and give it a good press and it's as easy and simple as that so that is it for today Subscribe if you have not and I will see you all soon.